Hi. How to relocate. This is my room. I was tagged. On a memento. I'm back. There's a holiday tag going around. I was tagged by Melanie Stitch to Malu. She claims she's blind in one eye and can't see in the other. But she makes the most amazing, amazing crochet articles ever. She sent me this tea. Butter mint, I believe it's called. From Twinings. And it's very minty. I'm not a big minty person. I do use mint though when I'm having a flare up. That helps a lot. So I'm hoping that this mint will cure my little cold that I have and help with the flare up that I'm getting here. Also, I was tagged by Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter, which I have right here next to me. See, Jack. Ah, I just washed him again. He helped me sweat out my cold last night or today. So to be on the safe side. Oh, I love, I love Jack. There's Frank. And Gracie. <laughs> All right, let's do this tag. Put my eyes on focus there we go when do you decorate for the holidays I don't decorate I used to decorate when my kids were young and it was amazing and I couldn't wait to open the curtains and show everybody our beautiful tree and now I'm like don't look in my house if I have any gaping gap I am petrified I want everything enclosed so nobody can see in I don't like nobody looking in my house. So when do I decorate? I really don't. What style do you decorate? If I do decorate, the style I decorate in is anything on sale. <laughs> 99 cent store, green dollar, or whatever it's called. Anything that's on sale, that's how I decorate. What's your favorite Christmas tree? What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Sleeping in because it's a federal holiday and I get the day off. Yay! So I get to stay up late and I get to sleep in. What's your famous, what's your favorite Christmas tradition? And, uh, well, the rest of the questions go with that tradition. What is your favorite place? What is your favorite place to buy holiday decorations? Uh, we go back to number two, 99 cent store, green dollar, whatever's on sale. Rarely go to Walmart. It's expensive there now. What is your favorite holiday movie? Hands down, It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. <gasps> Zuzu's Petals. And like uh, Shalene Armstrong said, every time an angel, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. So, It's a Wonderful Life, Jimmy Stewart. And like Melanie was saying, uh, her favorite movie, I think she said, is A Christmas Carol. And that she said that it'd be nice to live in those times where there's no problems, no drama. Nobody's going around shooting people and looking at them crazy and what gang are you from. It's no drama. You don't have to lock your doors. If you forget to lock your door, nobody's going to break in and steal try and hurt you know I'm going into too much detail but I think those were nicer times than now that's all I'm saying I agree with you Melanie <clears throat> uh, number six eggnog hot cocoa or apple cider I recently bought eggnog it's lactate that means no dairy and it was delicious I love hot cocoa with a little bit of whipped cream non-dairy and some chocolate chips Apple cider, I recently started liking it. It's pretty good when it's made right. Because I've had some apple cider where you're like. <laughs> but 
I like I out of those three I would probably probably go with the hot cocoa but y'all know I'm a tea drinker uh, number seven, do you leave cookies for Santa? I used to. I used to leave cookies, and then I would take a bite, and then go to bed. And then in the morning when the kids would wake up, oh, my God, Santa was here, Santa was here. And I'd be, like, picking the chocolate and the nuts out of my teeth. <laughs> do you have a real or artificial tree? We used to buy real trees only. <clears throat> They're not very expensive. Probably $25. Probably. That's not a lot. I don't think it's a lot. <clears throat> Everybody else I know buys a $150 to $250, $300 tree. I'm not going to spend that much if it's only going to be up a couple weeks and then take it down. So I used to buy them, but they leave sap. The pine needles go everywhere. And then one time we had a problem where bees came in. And they infested our house and we had to call the uh, the bee removal people. So, artificial all the way. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday dessert? Hmm. Holiday dessert. Maybe pecan pie or homemade pumpkin pie. Hmm. I like those. What is your favorite holiday cookie? My favorite holiday cookie my mom used to make every year were persimmon cookies. Oh my god, they're so good. She don't make them anymore. As y'all know, we don't get along. So if it's something that I like, she's basically like, F you. So I go to good old YouTube <laughs> and I figure out how to make my cookies. I figure out how to make anything on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's teaching me how to kiss right now. <laughs> Side note. <laughs> okay. Um, number 11. Does your family open gifts Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? When the kids were little, we used to open presents Christmas Eve at midnight. If they stayed awake. If they couldn't stay awake, like 10 p.m. Now, I pretty much celebrate Christmas by myself so any presents that my customers give me I put them all inside a bucket because we usually don't have a tree so I bring home one of the postal buckets or a basket and I put all the tree all the gifts all the little trinkets um they give me a lot of money I don't mean thousands so let me correct you like five dollars ten dollars and they give me a little envelope with the money so I'll put the little envelopes in there. And Christmas morning when I wake up, 9, 10 a.m., I'll sit there by myself and um, open my presents, drinking some coffee or some tea. And then I write down what everybody gave me and I make sure I give them a little thank you. That's what I do. Um, hmm. Do you decorate the tree alone or with the family? We don't have a tree. I don't think we're going to get a tree this year either. I asked for an artificial one. I don't know if anybody will come through. Where do you go on Christmas Day? I go to the living room. <laughs> I go to the living room, I sit down, and I open the presents that my customers gave me. What is your favorite holiday smell? Apples and cinnamon. Mmm, apples and cinnamon. I buy the um, the Glade plugins, and I have that scent throughout my entire house. I love it. Apples and cinnamon. Or a tea. I make a tea in a pot. I get some water. I get cinnamon sticks and a few cloves. Oh, mm. I have to do that this weekend. Uh, 15. What is your... Where do you go? What is your favorite holiday smell? What is your favorite thing to make during the holidays? For crocheting or for, the, for yourself or for others? I'm going to guess it's, um... This is a crochet question. What's my favorite thing to make? Beanies. I make a whole bunch of beanies. 
and cowls. I used to make them only for people. One weekend, I was home. It was my weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. As soon as I came home Thursday night to Saturday afternoon, no, Thursday night to Sunday morning, I had made 22 beanies. <sighs> they used to call me the machine. Now with my RA, I maybe make four. <laughs> so that's what I make. <clears throat> that's my story, quick and easy. I tag the following people. If they would like to do it, if you don't want to do it, I understand you guys are very busy. But I need to add people, and I know you guys always watch my video, and you love me. <laughs> I will put the list of all the questions down below. And I tag my number one. You already know. Claudia. Crochet Luna Podcast. She's my number one. I tag her. I tag uh, Seta from Seta's Place. Cindy from Cindy Hearts Crochet. Krista from The Secret Yarnery. Rosina from Zines and Rogers. Chevis from Chevy Rail. Rochelle from Queen's Yarn Boutique. She's the one that dyed that amazing yarn. Melody from Melody, Melody Crochet. Efren. Efren Malav. Oh my gosh. He is another amazing dude. Holy smoly. Efren, I love you. Um, I know you say Sean is your, your wife, but uh, can I be second in line? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I love you. And Jan Carruthers, Urban Gypsy Crochet. That woman. Oof. She's fire. Fire. So that's who I tag for my holiday tag. I would have loved to have gotten in detail like everybody else, but that doesn't happen around here. It's just me and my bucket my customers gave me. Apparently this year it's going to be you guys too because I've already started getting some Christmas cards and stuff. Hey, thank you very much. So I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. I'm going to go back and crochet and listen to my music. Yarn is life. Bye. Links to everyone I tagged are down below. Please be sure to check out their videos. Thank you. And here's more info on me. Have a beautiful day.